Uh, so this is my take on a key lime pie. You know me, I love doing trifles, uh, layered desserts that you can make ahead. They're a little less complicated um, than, you know, uh, other desserts, uh, but they really can make you look like a rock star. So normally I do um, trifles in a trifle bowl, which is you know, a clear glass dish on a pedestal. And I'm always coming up with new and different trifle recipes. I've just got a whole bunch of them. Um, but I thought for Mother's Day we do this and make it extra special and do this layered dessert in a pretty wine glass or a martini glass, a parfait glass. You could certainly do it in one big a container like this, clear glass bowl, but we're going to um, treat mom extra special and so she'll get her own dessert. So this is a fun idea if you've got a party and it's very, very much on trend um, to, you know, have your own little dessert or entree. It's, you know, just a, the big thing now. So we're going to make key lime trifles in pretty glasses. And I think mom will love them. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make fresh whipped cream. And if I can find the beaters, here you go. Um, sometimes People complain of having a hard time getting that cream to whip up. So if you have the time to refrigerate your bowl and your beaters or throw them into the freezer, wow, it makes a difference. And it's going to whip up a lot quicker. Notice too, I use a stainless steel bowl rather than a glass bowl. Now a glass bowl would work fine. You could you know, throw that in the, in the uh, fridge. But boy, this stainless bowl really works nice. We're using our wonderful Lamer's heavy cream that we love, local dairy. We do milk in the glass bottles the old fashioned way and the best ever heavy cream. So we're going to do a pint of heavy cream. You could certainly take a shortcut and just use frozen whipped topping if you'd like to, you know, make it a little easier. I like to, when I do um, whipping cream to sweeten it up, I like to do powdered sugar rather than regular sugar. Regular sugar would work, but um, I think it, it can be a little gritty in, in there. You can kind of taste a little bit of the sugar or feel it, I guess. So that's why I love to use powdered sugar and a little bit of vanilla. Just a splash. All right, so we've got a nice cold bowl and beater, and we're just going to start beating this up. Got a chance in between. Ireland's dances to read the book club book that we're reading. Book club is next Monday, a week from today, so still plenty of time to go get the book and join us for book club. We're reading a local book. It's called Orphan Doors by a local author, B. Seidel, and she's going to be at our book club meeting, which is going to be really cool. So please join us at La Java in Suamico Monday. May 13th at 5.30. Hope to see you there. If you could give them a call just to let them know we're coming, you're coming. Um, that way they'll have plenty of snacks for us, which they usually do anyway. But um, anyway, you can get the book at La Java, St. Norbert College. You can get it on Amazon. It's a pretty quick read. Really interesting, too, um, being that you're reading about, you know, places that you've probably driven by or know about local story about a, a woman who was raised in a convent, so it's very, very good. Or in an orphanage, I should say. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the cream to get a little bit peaks to get nice, nice and stiff. Oh, while I'm doing that, I could mention Backyard Barbecue Contest, time is running out. In fact, we need your recipes to us by May 8th, that's Wednesday. So this is something we do every year, it's so much fun. It's the ultimate Backyard Barbecue Contest where we put together the best of the best barbecue recipes. Uh, we are looking for your best summer appetizer recipes, your best salad recipes, main course, dessert, and summer drink recipes. And you can go to our website and submit your recipes. You can mail them to us. Uh, time's running out to do that. So best to either enter online or drop the uh, recipes off at the station. And then we'll go through all those recipes, pick the best of the best, and you'll be invited two from each category to come on the show and cook with me. Lots of great prizes. It's going to be a ton of fun. The cook-off actually uh, is all next week. So 
Make sure and watch next week. It's always a blast. And the, the contest this year was sponsored by Steins Gardens and Gibbs. So it should be a really fun time. I love getting those great summer recipes. Tons of fun. Okay, so our cream is getting... See how that helps? Just a minute or two and it really gets nice and stiff. But I I'm looking for those nice stiff peaks. Just about there. All right. Perfect. Put that to the side and we'll give Ann the beaters there and we're going to wash those for the key lime filling. So I'll let my cream hang out and I'm going to get to work on the crust. This is a graham cracker crust, and I think that's one of my favorite things about the key lime pie. Well, I actually like all the components. So we're gonna start with a stick of butter. That I'm just gonna melt quickly in the microwave. Um, one other thing. That you're gonna do is you're gonna pre-bake this crust rather than using just uh, the straight up graham crackers because what it's going to do is it's going to crisp up the crust a little bit in the oven. And when you layer it in the trifle, you'll be able to taste the crunchiness. So we've got crushed up graham crackers and some sugar. So this is one of those things that you can certainly do ahead of time. Um, we're going to bake them in the oven along with that butter for about 10 to 15 minutes until they get nice and golden and crunchy and wonderful. Yep more seconds. So Ireland, or I was going to say, I get all the kids mixed up. Uh, Hudson, uh, my producer Abby's little boy, got his first haircut over the weekend, and we haven't seen any pictures at Abby, but I want to see a picture of Hudson's first haircut. I hear he looks really handsome. And you went and saw the Lion King. How was it, Abby? We haven't gotten a chance to talk about that. She said it was amazing. The Lion King took the PhD, so she and her sister went. Um, so I'm dying to hear about that. So anyway, we melted a stick of butter. We've got some sugar and graham cracker, crushed graham crackers. And this is going to be the crust. And what I'm going to do is just mix that together. You can kind of press it into a 9 by 13. You can do it on a jelly roll pan. And we just want to throw this in the oven for just a little bit. Spread it out. Toast up the crumbs, and they're going to get a little bit crunchy on you, and then let them cool. Normally, in my trifles, I'll do some sort of a, a cake, or a brownie, or a pound cake, or an angel food cake. But for this, we really wanted to keep the whole feeling of key lime pie, so had to go with the graham cracker crumbs. Okay, so those go into the oven, they toast up, and here they are, golden and beautiful, and you just kind of then break them up with your hands. But that's a real important step, to keep them nice and crunchy that way. All right, they are golden and beautiful. And toasted those up for me. Okay, now for the key lime filling, we're gonna do uh, cream cheese, some softened cream cheese and sweetened condensed milk. This is the good stuff. Key lime pie always reminds me of going on vacation to Florida or my family loves to, we love to vacation in Jamaica and have a slice of key lime pie for dessert. Mm. So if you can't take mom on a vacation, maybe make this dessert. It's kind of like the next best thing. Now we're going to do some key lime juice. Um, key limes are a little bit tough to find around here. So they actually sell this right at the grocery store. Um, this is Nellie and Joe's famous Key West key lime juice. Pretty strong stuff. Um, it's you know very concentrated. So 
The recipe calls for about a cup of key lime juice. Depends on how tart you like it. And then I like to do some lime zest too. This is just regular lime zest, which is gonna pump up that lime flavor into the mixture. Just using my microplane here. All right. Got our beaters all ready, Ann? Thank you. So I'm going to mix this together. Definitely want to use a mixer to do this because we want to get all the lumps and bumps out of the cream cheese. And then we're going to start layering. This is a, besides baking the crust, it's pretty much a no-bake dessert. Oh, it smells so good. So we've got our pretty glasses here. Just found these in our pantry. But, you know, pull out those pretty martini glasses or the pretty wine glasses and use them. I think so many of us just, you know, have them sitting there and we never really use them. Um, so why not use them for desserts like this? So we've got to just start layering. We'll put some crumbs down in the bottom of our dessert glasses. And then we can do, you know, one layer or two layers. We'll use some of this wonderful, this is gonna be really rich. The key lime mixture. And then I thought we'd be real pretty here for mom and keep it extra special and use a piping bag to pipe some of the whipped cream just on the top. You could certainly just use a, you know, spoon to do a dollop of it. We'll do some fresh whipped cream into our piping bag. And then we'll garnish with a little bit uh, more of the crumbs and some lime. And I'll show you how pretty these look in just a minute. but little key lime pie. You can do one big trifle or little individual trifles for mom. She's going to love it no matter what. Coming up, some wonderful breakfast ideas that mom will absolutely love and some great gift ideas too. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back.